It was a nice spring day, and Shaggy and I were heading back to the house when we passed Ella's house, and we saw her out in the yard with her horse. So we turned around and drove in the driveway. Now, when we drive in the driveway at Tony and Horton's place, Shaggy gets all excited because he knows that Gus and Samson, the two golden retrievers, are there and he likes them and he'll start barking. So I didn't want him to spook the horse, so I went and I parked behind a couple of pickup trucks over next to the garage and the barn. Now Ella was brushing Star. You can see that orange bucket laying on the ground and it had brushes and all kinds of stuff in there. I'm not sure what it all was. Star was tied to the tree with a, a red rope and she's 13 years old and Ella got her on Christmas Eve. Now, Tony's on the porch, but you can't see her in this picture. Well, Tony finished her phone call, so she leaves the porch and comes over to Ella and I by the horse. And she tells me that Ella is gonna ride the horse today. Now, the first and only time that Ella rode it was on Christmas Eve, and that was in a barn. She didn't really ride it, she was on on top of it, and it was a surprise present for her. And she hasn't been able to ride it because there's just been too much snow on the ground. So today is the big day. And I asked Tony where the, where the dogs are. Where's Samson? You know, he's about five years old, big 100 pound golden retriever, and little Gus the puppy. <laughs> and she had to put the dogs away, not so much because of Samson, but uh, Gus, the little puppy, is always running around uh, the horse and getting the horse all uh, nervous and edgy. So they uh, locked the two dogs up in the, in the office. Now Star is kind of dirty and dusty. Every time Ella slaps her, you see a big pile of smoke come up off her body. So Tony says she's got to go to Farm and Fleet and get some horse wash or something. I say it'd be, just be easier for her to tie her to back of my pickup and I'll pull her through the car wash. But nobody really liked that idea. Now in, uh, oh, and then there was a discussion about Star's hooves. They need to have a furrier, not like mink coats, but F-E-R, uh, as an iron, come over and take a look at the, the hooves. Okay, so after this picture, there's gonna be a video where Ella has just put a, the pad on the horse's back and then threw the saddle on top. Next, we will see a video of Ella strapping down the saddle on Star. Now, when you strap the saddle on, it has to be on nice and tight. So you do it when the horse exhales so that when they inhale, it'll be even tighter. And you, the timing's gotta be just right, and you kinda pat their belly to let them know you're gonna tighten the saddle and you want them to exhale. Well, okay, the saddle was strapped on, but it was too loose. So Ella tightened it up again as far as she could, but it was the last hole in the strap and she couldn't tighten it anymore. So she had to go to the other side of the horse and unstrap it over there and move it down a few holes, restrap it, and then come back to this side and tighten it down the way it should be. And I had to go over there and help her because it was a little tough to get it undone. Now when you uh, strap the horse down, then there's a certain way you have to tuck all the loose straps in, otherwise they get in the way or something. Now, in the next video, you're going to see Ella unloosen, but not remove the red harness, and then put the bridle on the horse. Now the bridle is uh, what you 
use to ride the horse. It's got the reins, the, the long straps that you actually hold. But she doesn't want the horse to get loose, so she leaves the, uh, the red harness somewhat attached to the horse while she puts the bridle on. Now they had a problem getting the, the metal bit in the horse's mouth because she didn't want to open her mouth. So you'll see Tony reach in her pocket and grab a little treat for the horse, and when she opens up to eat it, they slip the bit in her mouth. Yeah, we will. I always put this on, and then you can still slip that off. No, you can't. Okay. Because when you put the bit on, it won't go on the bit. Open. Come on. Open them up. Come on, open it up. Come on. Come on. Open your mouth, Star. Where's it your butt head? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, it's like untangled. In this next video, Ella finishes tightening the bridle and removes the red harness. I'm gonna make, yeah, you can go ahead and step in front. I'm gonna make a video like I did of the meat butchering. Did you see that video, I Tony? Did. that was good. next two videos you see Ella walking Star with the harness and saddle on her. Now Star has been ridden before, before uh, Ella got her, uh, but she hasn't been ridden in quite a while so I guess this is just kind of to get her used to walking with a saddle on. Alright, now you need to get your helmet. So Ella goes off to get her helmet. Now while she does that, Horton shows up on the scene and tells me he's gonna slap Star in the butt and yell, giddy up, <laughs> when Ella gets on it. But he was just kidding. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Okay, all right. more air. It's too loose, huh? Okay, so the saddle was on too loose again, and they have to let some air out. That means let air out of Star's lungs, and when the air comes out, when she exhales, then they tighten the saddle again. So are you tapping her to try to get her to breathe? To get it, let that air out, so yeah. she knows. I just don't want it to be too tight, you know. Well, it, it's got to be. I mean, that's not tight at all. Untie this again? No. 
Boy, this is complicated. Why don't you just get a motorcycle? Oh, so you can lead her? Yeah. You can lead her right now. With what? You can hang on to her wing. So she can get used to me on her. Do you want the whole wing on? Okay, well this is the first time Ella has ridden Star since it's been here. She's only been on it once before. That was in the barn when she first met Star on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. Yeah. 